Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Light Combat Aircraft LC Tejas is a combination of latest concepts and technologies like relaxed static stability, advanced glass cockpit, integrated digital avionics, fly-by-wire, flight control and advanced composite materials for the airframe. The aircraft with 4.5 generation capabilities is equipped with air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, anti-ship missiles, bombs and rockets. It is the lightest multi-role supersonic aircraft of its class. It can travel at a maximum speed of 2,205 km per hour for FOC version and 2,000 km per hour for the IOC version. MK-1A version of Tejas is going to be outfitted with modern AESA radar glass cockpit, helmet mounted display and sight, electronic warfare suite and new avionics. LCA Tejas brings all the advanced capabilities with an attractive price tag of Rs 280 crore per trainer aircraft and 309 crores for Tejas MK-1A which is again cheapest among all the trainer aircraft with 4.5th generation capabilities. All these attractive features bring the interested international customers like Australia, Argentina and Malaysia looking for either trainer aircraft or a light combat aircraft or both. HAL has offered LCA Tejas to these countries. However, there are some export challenges which we will discuss about it in both the cases. As per the latest update, Tejas export to three countries are in advanced stage and one export success is likely very soon. However, the details of the country where it will succeed is kept confidential for now and possibly we will hear about it when the deal is near finalization. From what we can analyze, the chances of Tejas getting selected are quite high for Malaysia and possibly Argentina. Australia has a strong US lobbying. We have recently witnessed the AUKUS deal for Australian nuclear submarines. Talking about Argentina, it is looking for a supersonic fighter jet to replace its aging fleet of French Mirage 3 and 5 fighter jets and also US built A4 Skyhawk subsonic fighters. LCA Tejas with compound delta wing and tailless aircraft fits the need of Argentina. Even the best part is that it can use Russian, Israeli, European and Indian missiles. Interestingly, here Tejas has stiff competition with JF-17. Back in June this year, Argentina has asked China to reduce the prices of JF-17 or they can go for Indian LCA fighter jets, basically using Tejas as a bargain chip. Argentina's defense ministry has set aside $664 million in its budget document to procure fighter jets for its air force. The Twitter handle of the Pakistan Consulate General in Jeddah on September 18 tweeted that Argentina had earmarked US dollars 664 million to buy 12 JF-17 Block 3 jets from Pakistan, yet another propaganda by Pakistan. The Argentina Ministry of Defense has to officially deny this claim and stated that no fighter aircraft of any origin had been shortlisted and the process is in the technical, economic and financial evaluation stage of five alternatives. Their LC has a good chance with Argentina considering a lot of less UK-based components on the jet. We are talking about UK-based component because Argentina and UK has long historical rivalry. LC uses Martin Baker zero ejection seat which need to be replaced with indigenous ejection seat which India has not yet developed. Russia has also offered its Su-35 which has Russian made ejection seat and mostly Russian component could also attract Argentina. Other than Russia and India, the other offers are from Israel and China. Chinese and Israeli jet both uses UK ejection seat. Next we will discuss about Malaysia which in my opinion will highly likely to buy Tejas. Against the backdrop of Chinese military aircraft incursion into its airspace, the Malaysian Defence Ministry published a request for bids for supply and delivery of new light combat aircraft dubbed as Fighter Lead-in Trainer Light Combat Aircraft. 
Flit LCA. The Chinese aggression has triggered two important events. First, Malaysia will now not buy Chinese jets. Otherwise, it will have to depend on China for its spare parts, maintenance and weapon packages. China will definitely use this as a tool to bargain in its own interest. Second, in the lights of recent incursion to Malaysia's exclusive economic zone, its air force is now looking for urgent procurement of fighter jets. Recently, an MOU was signed with Metals and Minerals Trading Corporation of India as channelizing partner for import of palm oil for likely counter trade for sale of LCA Tejas to Royal Malaysian Air Force. This I would say is a master stroke as Malaysia will not have to spend a dollar for buying LCA Tejas from India at the same time HAL will gain access to Malaysian market which can further extend to additional 36 fighter jets orders as planned by Malaysia by 2055. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.